jaw-dropping. Huckabee just exploded after the media lied about President Trump. Watch what he revealed to Sean Hannity on live TV. Mike Huckabee has had enough. After the relentless media lies about Trump, Huckabee emerged ready to take care of business yesterday. Much like his little girl, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, Mike Huckabee can see straight through the liberal media double dealing. After Sean Hannity made only one inquiry, watch Huckabee unleash hellfire on t live TV. Huckabee begins by indicating how the media overlooks a large portion of President Trump's achievements and they turn the rest into making him look awful. At that point, he uncovered precisely why they are so corrupt and it made Hannity's jaw drop. We now former presidential candidate, governor of the great state of Arkansas, Governor Huckabee. Welcome back, Governor. All right, they have, and I, I didn't even touch on in this case, because that could be a whole show, all the Russia-Trump collusion theories that were debunked. And I, I honestly don't know what to think. If this is CNN, this is NBC News, um, what do you make of what's happening here? Well, Sean, if this is all they've got, they got nothing. And I mean, I think the one thing that we learned out of the Comey hearing was that there is no connection between Donald Trump and Russia. And we've been hearing that even from Democrats like Joe Manchin and Dianne Feinstein who all said, we see no evidence of it. And Comey affirmed that and made it clear that Trump was not under any investigation. But there are people who cannot let it go. But they hate Donald Trump. And frankly, Sean, if Donald Trump ran into a burning building and grabbed two children and ran out of that burning building and saved them, the New York Times headline would read, Donald Trump runs from historic structure as it burns to the ground. That's how they would report the whole story. They're ignoring everything this president is doing, which is a lot, and all they're doing is focusing on a completely fake news, phony story because they've gone from is being... Uh, really a biased media to a corrupt media, and that's dangerous to this republic. And the American people are now beginning to see it more than they ever have, but that doesn't, it doesn't matter he wasn't under investigation. It doesn't matter that there's no evidence of collusion. It doesn't matter, but for 10 months they have advanced a lie up to this point. Show me evidence, and I'm, I'm all open, I'm open mind, heart, and ears. But it doesn't exist as of now. And they spend night after night after night pushing a theory to what? Delegitimize the president? Stop his agenda? Maybe ultimately get him removed for office? Is this the, the power of the Hillary Clinton colluding media now? Well, it's, it's obvious that's all they've got, but I mean, there are some real questions that they could be raising if they were serious about it. Why did Loretta Lynch tell James Comey not to call the investigation an investigation and call it a matter? What were they talking about on the tarmac, Bill Clinton and Loretta Lynch? Why didn't Hillary have any consequences for uh, that unsecured server in her bathroom? And why had no consequences for 33,000 emails deleted? I mean, there's a laundry list of things. Yeah, there is a Russian conspiracy for Lois Lerner, for heaven's sakes, and the IRS. There's so many abuses of government power, and this had nothing to do with Donald Trump. He wasn't president. Barack Obama was. There's some things to investigate, but it has nothing to do with Donald Trump or his people. Governor so Gorsuch, true. So true. So true. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.